Camille's Wealthy Food opened in 2014. It was established to become a vital resource in the community as a way to help alleviate food hunger in the Harlem community. When I first arrived here in 2016, we were serving about 900 families a month. Now we're serving 5,000. I think one of the biggest things that we really focus here on is making sure that we make pantry a dignified experience for everyone. When you come to the food hub, first and foremost, you have to be accepting that you need help providing for you and your family. And that, just accepting that you need help. So we try to make sure that we create an environment where the clients actually get to pick their own food versus someone just giving you a bag and saying, here, take it, eat it. What if you don't eat that? What if you have food allergies? allergies, different things of that nature. And so we try to make sure that we accommodate our clients as much as possible to make sure one, that they have access to client choice and two, that they have access to fresh fruits and vegetables. We do also give out canned goods. We try to make sure though our canned goods are either low sodium or no sodium. Some of our grain options, we make sure that they're gluten free. We also offer almond milk or soy milk. So we're definitely like allergy free friendly and definitely try to accommodate everyone's eating. I think what contributes to making it a dignified experience so that when you leave here you feel like wow I really just went to like the supermarket. So we try to replicate that experience as much as possible. A typical day we'll serve between 25 and 200 families. A lot of our families are big family sizes so you have some families that are just single but then we have families as big as like 10 or 15 people within one household. So it's like when you have that you have 200 families but maybe you really impacted over 2,000 different people, over 1,000 different people um, just in one day. So I think that's really how we're able to create um, really big impact here. This pantry has helped me tremendously because I have low income and I have a lot of illnesses. I've had many strokes. Um, I had heart surgery. I almost lost my life due to my strokes and um, it's helped me to eat better. It's helped me financial wise. It's been a great help to me. So I appreciate it very, very much. I'm Mark Levine, New York City Council member and also chair of the City Council's Health Committee. And I am thrilled to be here for the grand opening of the expanded West Harlem Group Assistance Food Pantry, which is already so impactful in this neighborhood, a community where there are very few supermarkets, very few green markets, and the lack of access to healthy food affects the health of this neighborhood. From helping people with their taxes, helping them qualify for SNAP and other benefits. I remember when I was a kid and my mom had to go to HRA to do food stamps and she's running over here to do this. And that's to do that. It's like, wouldn't it be great if all that could just be in one place? My mission was to create a one-stop shop where people can come to receive multiple social services. People need so much more than just a bag of food. And that's why we have this additional space now where people come for food, but then they leave with so much more. West Harlem Group Assistance is a not-for-profit that does community development in Harlem. We're celebrating our 48th year in the community, and we built over 1,800 units of affordable housing. We run two homeless shelters, a multi-service center, and this food pantry is one of the social service programs that's run in Harlem. So it's taking that next step and just going beyond food and saying housing is where we're at, but social services is where we're going. West Harlem Group feeds me and my family and feeds the community. And that's a good thing. That's why nobody in Harlem should be starving. West Harlem Group's mission is to invest in underinvested properties that are in Harlem that are in dilapidated buildings. separate partnership they have with City Council where they use one of their vacant storefronts as the space to execute the program. So if we can really educate them and get them to really understand the impact that these foods really have on them in terms of longevity, I think it'll really, really demonstrate to them uh, what we want to do here, which is really promote not just healthy eating, but healthy living.